Hello everyone, this is Rubel. Today I'm going to show you how to copy Cisco IOS from Cisco router to the TFTP server. So I'm going to follow three steps. The first, I'm going to download the TFTP server from solarwinds.com. I already downloaded from SolarWinds to my desktop computer. The second, I will assign the IP address to the TFTP server and Cisco router interface. The third, I'm going to configure the router for copy the Cisco IOS from the router to the desktop. First step was download the TFTP server from SolarWinds. So this is my the TFTP server. So I'm going to open it. Press yes. Then if I go to the file, configure. So in in here I see uh, my TFTP server root directory. So that means all my copy file will be saved in the C drive TFTP root. So if I go back, go to my computer, open the C drive, and you see the TFTP root. So if I select yes, right now I do not have anything here. So after I copy from the iOS, copy uh, iOS from the Cisco router, it will be here. So right now I'm going to minimize it. So um, and here if I go to the server binding, you see the right now I do have the IP address, but I'm going to change it. So how I gonna change it? I have to go to the computer, right click, open network sharing center, local area connection, properties, internet protocol version four properties use the following IP address so I'm going to use 192.168.1.2 and subnet mask is going to be a class C subnet mask and default gateway is my router I uh, router interface so this is 192.168.1.1 press yes close 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 everything so now if i go back to the file configure server binding now i see uh, my ip address here so if everything is okay so i can press okay and minimize the tftp server i'm going to make a connection between cisco router and my desktop computer so I'm using two type of cable. One is crossover cable. Is it will be transfer the file from Cisco router to the desktop, and the console cable it will allow me to configure the Cisco router. So now I'm going back to the desktop and configure the Cisco router, and also I will make sure I can pin Cisco router interface from my desktop. I'm going to configure the router right now. So I'm using the third term. I'm going to open the router serial okay so I'm going to maximize this one and also go to the setup change the font I'm going to use 14 okay so now if I, if I enter it so go to config config key Go to interface first ethernet zero slash zero IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one subnet masks two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero no shard so if I exit out for the end so now I'm I'm going to pin the desktop IP address or TFTP IP address so ping one nine two dot one six eight 
dot on dot on I'm able to ping my TFTP server now I'm going to see if I can ping from my desktop so I'm going to start menu then type CMD then ping PINs ping 192.168.1.1 now I am able to ping the router interface so now I am ready to copy the Cisco IOS from Cisco router so first I am going to see where my Cisco IOS is located in the router so I can type show version show version sorry show version so if I look at here my iOS is system image file as in so that means my iOS is in the flash so I'm going to select from here to this bin then I'm going to the edit copy so if I go to the copy then question mark Let me clear the window first. Clear screen. So now I I'm going to type copy question mark flash then question mark. So now I want to copy the flash to the TFTP. So I'm select TFTP, then type question mark again. So enter. So now he's asking me the source file. So I'm going to paste the source file that I copy previous time. So paste here, then enter. So now he's asking me the remote host, which is my desktop IP address which is 192.168.1.2 enter so the my destination I'm going to leave as that so enter so now is copying the Cisco IOS to the TFTP server so in mid time I'm going I'm going to open the my uh, TFTP file location which is my in my C drive TFTP so now you are see the my Cisco iOS right here All right thank you for watching